Jamie's getting cookies and moving them to the cooling plate of cookies. That's like fucking 40. Like, we made a lot of cookies. Okay. Yeah, we made a heck ton of cookies. I'm going to the courthouse. Oh, there's a car out here. Whose car? Who's nice car? This wasn't here before. Protesters. And they're still kind of there, aren't they? They're still all here, like, identically. But there's like a dope car right here. And Nancy like doesn't care because I'm trying to investigate this car and I may not. Like look at this dope car. It is pretty neat. And it was not here yesterday. Okay. I want to talk to Alicia Cole first mm -hmm. just because I want to. Upsies. Upsies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to Alicia Cole, no matter what you do. Hey, Nance, I swear you would have loved this place. We should go there sometime. There was a robbery in the book I was looking for got stolen. Okay, that was that we already saw, I think. Hey, Nance, how you doing? I'm okay. Mm. Da, da, da. Well, maybe not really. Aw. Do you need me to come over? Aw, I'm still in Salem, honey. Right. No, no, you don't have to. I will, if you want me to, to, vacation can wait. No, it's fine, really. I just need to keep my nerves calm. Every mystery can be solved. I'll figure this one out. I know you will, just keep at it. Thank you. Always, let me know if there's anything I can do. Hmm. See, that's what I'm talking like, I like that it's just little exchanges. Oh, our group chat's called Spook Squad! <laughs> who named it? Can you see who named it? I don't it? know. Ugh. I, I mean, probably Joe. Joe. Yeah. Right, but. Fuck, I love Joe. Fuck, I'm a Joe stan. <laughs> oh, Captain. Drew, how can I help you? Hi, Miss Cole. Alicia, please. Interesting, but okay. Oh, same. Nancy. Great. So what do you need, Nancy? Any more paper clips, staplers, uh -huh. or perhaps a hammer drill? <laughs> She's fun. I'm more of a pneumatic nail gun type myself. Okay, Nance. Ha uh -huh. ha. Nice. Butch. <laughs> you have a hammer drill in the <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Nancy. In my closet. Oh. I'm a bit of a home improvement. Good to know. Okay. You have to be when you live in a house built in the 1800s. Hmm. Well, thanks, but I don't need any of those things. I do have some questions, though. You mind if I take five minutes of your time? Please. I don't mind. You can even She's have so six. She's so nice. Yeah, I like yeah. her. Mm, let's just, I mean, we're gonna ask everything. I'm sure you've heard about the burglary in the court's evidence room. Yes, unbelievable. You know, I've started asking myself, what is happening to this town? It used to be such a safe place. And now we have arson and break-ins. I'm worried there's a pattern of escalation here. I mean, is this the kind of place I want to raise children in? Oh, you're trying to start a family. I mean, yes. But with the amount that I work, when is there any time? I barely have enough time to do my hair in the morning. Let alone go on a date after work. Aw. And to be honest, the type of people living in a place like Salem is, well... Really what I'm into. She said there's too many goth goth <laughs> boys. I have a boyfriend. Really? The defensiveness. He doesn't accompany you on your investigative trips? No, he's on vacation. Sometimes? Well, he's in college right now. Oh. And we see each other when we can. Uh-huh. You've been dating long? Yeah. A couple of years. Okay. Why are y'all being weird? No one said it was easy. We figure out how to make it work. All I'll say is, most men don't understand what we go through. We have to fight to get a seat at their table, and then they want us to go home and be family makers. Some unsolicited advice from one working woman to another? Don't let his plans get in the way of yours. Hmm. Right? Sounds like you're holding a grudge against somebody. Right. God, we got more questions. Mm -hmm. Do you know who has access to the evidence room? As far as I know, just myself and the judge. Interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Look, I don't like saying this, but the judge hmm? occasionally mm. leaves the evidence room unlocked. The man even locked himself in his own office, for pity's sake. 
Not that it matters. I was told the burglar came from the outside. So it's safe to say you weren't here during the theft. <laughs> Are you liking me for this crime, Nancy? No, I don't like anyone for this crime. Or any other crime for that matter. Just doing my research. I was not here. I was running errands around town. <sighs> busy, busy, busy. No electronics in this game have cords. <laughs> this lamp, this monitor, this keyboard. That's really interesting. Do you happen to have the code for the evidence room door? No, sorry. He hasn't given that to me yet. And knowing him, he's probably already lost it. Doing some follow-ups with the arson. Where were you that night? <laughs> Are you asking for my alibi? Yes. Well, yes, if you don't mind. I was at a charity fundraiser, saving the piping plovers. Anyone in this town that works in an official capacity can vouch for me. Are you interviewing any of them? I don't think I'll need to. I'm a little bit surprised you'd even ask. I'm covering my Just bases. I can respect that. Would you mind telling me what you were doing three days ago? Three days ago. All day or... Well, any info would be helpful. Actually, why are you interested in this? No reason. I was in Austria three oh. days ago and witnessed a theft of a historical artifact there that, surprisingly, I believe is connected to this theft. I don't I see. Yeah. I was talking to your father about that case. Really? Yeah. We chat sometimes. About work. Mostly. Okay. What are you saying? Ask him. <laughs> she said, watch it, kid. I'll be your stepmom if you don't fucking Picking leave up me alone. Now? Not exactly. It's kind of related to the Hathorne house. Yeah, let's see. I was home watching Jason cut the stump out of my front yard. You hired Jason Danforth for that? He's cheap. And he can't say no because he needs the money. I can't remember who Danforth I was about to say, I'm having a moment. I wouldn't know why. You know, I could use someone like you. A lawyer is always in need of a good private investigator. If your father would be okay with you working for someone else. Alicia, I'm my own woman. I work for myself. But you've been very helpful and I really appreciate it. Good. Well, when you solve this case, let's talk. I just want to say, I don't think Alicia is a good suspect uh, for the book theft because she could have just waited till we got her to the judge and stolen it from him. Right? Why would she? <laughs> like go she wouldn't go all the way to Austria. Yeah. That didn't make any when sense. When it was on its way here and she knew about it because she chats. Yeah, because she chats with our dad about, about that and yeah. other things. And most, yeah, mostly words. <laughs> Did you fuck my dad, Alicia? <laughs> <laughs> mm, didn't click. Do you know Lauren Holt, owner of Luminous Infusions? She does. President of the Hathorn Estate Carriage House. So do you know her? Absolutely. I represent her. How's the case going? Well, that's a bit of a confidentiality issue. <laughs> but you are the daughter of a lawyer. So... Why does anyone think that matters? Without a will, there is no case. No one has been able to find it. And without the will, the house goes to the state. The law is the law. I can try to get a delay. But we've already delayed twice, and the state doesn't care that someone lives there. It's a tough world out there. I spoke with Lauren. She mentioned you have a key. A key? To the Hathorn to the house. Hathorn house. Yes, please come it's the key. only copy. Oh, fuck Don't yeah. lose it. Nice. Oh, and this really isn't supposed to be in your hands. I love crime. finds you with it? I'd have to say you stole it. That's fine. I'll make sure to be discreet. Thanks. Here to help, Nancy. Hey, next time, please knock before entering. Okay. Your door's open. Yeah. Why did you bring a hammer drill to the office? Hammer drill to the office. Well, after the burglary, we realized that this place was in dire need of higher security. I oh, ordered the keypad online and used the drill to mount it. Oh, okay. I just keep forgetting to bring the drill back home with me. That's a good excuse. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 
still ended up calling a professional when the thing wouldn't stop beeping. What did you mean when you said the people here are not your type? They're goth. Oh, you probably know by now. You've been around town, right? I have. It's all people with minds as small as the town itself. Interesting. I don't mean to sound harsh, but uh, you can only meet so many with the same mindset before you see a pattern. There's no gay people here. That's interesting. Or there's no straight people here. Something happened? One of the two. Oh, nothing much. Sometimes I just wish this place would be a bit bigger, you know? More progressive. Imagine a revitalized town. There's too many straight people here. <laughs> Do you think that could happen? <laughs> a woman can dream. I love that she wears an oversized t-shirt for her lawyer job. Yeah. See you later. So, does she have a closet here? Because that's Yeah, her drill must be in here. Good to know. So, that might come in handy. Let's right. go talk to the judge. Judge time. Should I knock? Hey, dude. No, not today. Oh! I can't. There's too much to do. Who is this? Come on. Jason. Take a break. Yeah. His son, I think. Jason, I have had these protesters outside my window nonstop for days. I must deal with this situation. Mm -hmm. The longer it goes on, the worse it looks. Jason looks like a country yeah, club douche. Yeah. 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 His dad's but a judge. I'm buying lunch. You're buying? Really? With what? <laughs> you gotta get over this, Dad. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. What are you talking about? You resent me. I no. don't resent you, Jason. I'm just standing here. Miss Drew, please come in. I'm in. We'll talk later, okay? Oh, you have time for her, but not for me. Well, I'm pretty. Yeah. Please, Jason. I'm smart. <laughs> he said, Hi, Jason Dan. No, no, no. No. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. You're visiting Salem, yeah? What do you think? Kind of a boring town beneath all the legends. Jason, come on. We have a meeting. Actually, it seems like there's a lot going on here. Well, whenever you're up for some real excitement, look me up. Mm, you're gross. TV. So we did get a new character. Yeah. So Technically, we got two if we count Damien. Still trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life. I mean, he Didn't looked like a teenager. In his father's footsteps. Oh, he tried. Didn't have the dedication to follow through with the schooling. Oh, Why is he telling us anyway. this? Let's get started. Parents want to talk shit about their kids really badly. <laughs> I was about to say. Hey, dude. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? That information isn't usually available to the public. Do I look I'm like afraid I can't just take your word for it. I'll have it taken care of. Have what taken care of? No idea. I wasn't done talking to you. As you know, I want to oh, investigate the crime scene. I think I. The information isn't usually We're available. We're trapped in a. In a loop. Oh. Oh. What's... What's in your house, dude? Your office, man. Like, you got... Do you have a power drill? You have a head. Interesting. And some papers. Just some paper that's on the floor that I want to pick up, but... I can't do it. You won't. It's not for me. Won't let us. So, by have it taken care of, does it mean he's just gonna lock it for us? Because I want to go... Oh. <laughs> because I want to go... Into it. Into it. Let's go to Sean. I need to get Judge Dan... Well, well, we try. But he won't listen to me. I really should call Dad so he can... Oh! Okay, him. okay. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> ...the whole investigation if I was caught snooping around the courthouse without... Yep, 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 yep. I also, while we're in here, want to call, uh, Tegan's boyfriend. Okay. Just because I'm, in I'm intrigued. He's a pair of glasses. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Damien Faulkner? Yeah? Who is that? Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm a private investigator currently working the Hathorn House case on behalf of Judge Danforth. Do you mind if I take up a minute of your time? Um, go ahead. Just wanted to follow up on some statements. Statements made by who? Tegan Perry. Yes? Your girlfriend. Right, right. <laughs> Where were you? Hmm. Sorry, but... Were these statements given to the police? Oh. Um, no. They were given to me, willingly. Yeah, sorry. I, I work for Alicia. Oh. And I've learned to make sure that when you're being questioned, you always have a lawyer present. 
I don't want to sound like I'm guilty or complicit. I just know my rights. That's, That's fair. Important. That is fair. But you sound trustworthy. Uh, oh, How long have you worked for Alicia? I've interned for her for a while, but she doesn't really pay attention to me. Hmm. You seem to know a lot about legal framework. I listen to her on the phone. A lot. Anyway, I was with Tegan on the night of the fire. That's what you wanted to know, right? Yeah. And what did you guys do? <laughs> Watch the movie. Okay. Which movie? Honestly, couldn't tell you. Tegan pick. You know, they're always some kind of vampire drama, apocalyptic, teenage angsty thing. They watched Twilight. Mm -hmm. Don't know her, but I never did. You sound like a bad boyfriend. boyfriend. Oh, good to know. He's in a hard time. Anything sassy. else, or he would get along with Sunny June. Thanks for talking to me. Yep. Sure. Bye. He was so weirdly cagey. Yeah. We had to like tell him that Tegan was his girlfriend. Yeah, I, I thought that was weird. Hey, Dad. Dad, let us get Damn. into the evidence room. How's my girl doing? I'm good. She's shitty, Dad. Dad, I have a favor I need to ask you. Of course. Shoot. I need to investigate inside the Salem courthouse, specifically concerning the burglary in the evidence room. Do you think you could call Judge Danforth on my behalf and get his permission? Not a problem. Thanks, Dad. Well, this reminds me. Next time you see him, you should bring up the Lake Winnipesaukee regatta. I will. Dad. I don't remember how to yeah. pronounce it. Maybe later. Winnipesaukee regatta. <laughs> Hang on, my you mom sent me a video and I have to humor her real quick. Yeah, of course. Did he take your bait? <laughs> Is that a camel? I guess they're at some sort of like drive-in petting zoo because my camel took my little sister's entire bucket of camel feed. That was cute. That was cute. Nice little little <laughs> sister interlude. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, mm. Dad. All set. Okay, cool. Great. Thanks, Dad. All right, let's go in there. You're welcome. Is there anything else? I'm just really proud of you, Nancy. Aww. I don't know how often I tell you that. Like I think it's not game. nearly enough. Thanks, Dad. You know I learned it all from you, right? Oh, now I know that's not true. Mm -hmm. The judge told me about a certain lock picking. Incident. I didn't do that. You certainly didn't learn that. I didn't do me. that. That wasn't me. I don't recall. I may have picked up a few extra skills along the way. Right. I'd expect nothing less. Love you, kiddo. Go get him. I didn't pick anything. Hey, dude. Can I go in the thing? Please don't tell me his son is invested in Bitcoin. Digital currency. <sighs> All these new made-up digital things. <laughs> me too, off, man. Nothing's ever been wrong with good old American Benjamins. Benjamins? As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? Oh, yes, about that. Well, you see, I had it written on a Oh my god, I hate note, you so much. I hate everything about I you. Seem to have misplaced it. Should be around here somewhere. Please tell me it's feel a free to look for it. puzzle. All right, oh, he said feel free okay. to look for it. Don't worry about it. I love a good scavenger hunt. All right, I'm about to shove my face in your desk if you don't mind. Oh. There's a number written on here. All right. Oh, 0815. Yep. Wait, hang on. Wait, can we look around anything else? Not to be like that. Why did they make us do that? No, that was like. <laughs> like is there anything five. else on this? No, there wasn't. Desk. Hey, man, it's oh eight fifteen. If you happen to have a list of all the evidence that was stored here, something 
before the break-in. Yes, actually. You should be able to get it from the computer in the evidence room. Dope. Feel free to use the printer and take the list with you. Dope. Nice. I'm going out on a limb for you here. I'm going out on a limb for you. This sort of information isn't usually available to the public. I'm not the public. I'm a understand. private investigator. I'll keep the list close. Thank you. Alright, do you have any more questions for me? For you? Yeah. Who has access to the evidence room? Oh. Well, that would be me and Alicia. Why do you ask? What do you mean, why do you ask? I'm investigating a break-in. Thanks. Um, it could have been the sun. But, um, we didn't get his alibi for the other crimes. Like, which is interesting to me. Oh, wait, 15. Dope. Cool. Whee! Oh. Got... Interesting. They just ripped this thing right off. <laughs> Didn't put it fucking and back. And also, it's still broken. Right. Um. I guess they're just like, yeah, this is what evidence rooms look like. Okay. Okay. Can I leave my pumpkin in here? <laughs> that is the mystery of the stream. Oh. oh wait, let's go to the computer before we start yeah, touching kind of stuff. Things. Yeah. Oh, it's already out. What is the judge's name? Danforth? None of these people are him. Alicia got a testimony, testimony. from Lauren. That makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. But like, who's that? Who's that? I thought only they had access to the thing. I can rotate it and there's nothing on the back. Cool. Now to figure out which ones were stolen. Okay. What's weird that I didn't actually have to use the computer, it was just already sitting there. Right. It's dusty. Okay. It's dusty. Okay, Nance. Okay, Nance. I guess they're yeah. I can't interact with it. I guess it's just already done. Can I not look at these files? It's dusty. Okay. Everything's dusty. Can we open that drawer? No. No. Alright. I mean, if you say so, Nance. Cool. Oh. Fun little... A map of Salem. Where are we right now? The courthouse slash town hall area. I don't see that. Mm. Wait, is that this? Maybe. That might be the square. Why can't I zoom in? A map of Salem. I guess it's not really for us to be... I don't want, but I mean, if you compare it to that, right? Maybe it's just for not right now. They hacked up this window. Oh, I can look through it. No glass on the floor. Hmm. So that's... The window was broken from the inside. But there was glass on the floor. I literally just saw it. I'm just looking outside. I'm like, what's outside? Also, not to be like again, unless this is literally an untouched crime scene. Like they could have, they could have cleaned it up. it up. But whatever, we're just going with what the game says. But there, is... like, there's glass right there. Nance, I'm so confused, girly. I'm gonna throw this pancake out the window here. That's it's not a, a pancake. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Imagine if someone was like, hey, let me toss you this pancake right quick, and then threw a pumpkin. I thought you said printer. <laughs> Why would I say printer? Um, okay, let's take a look at the avertance. So this is... Uh, okay. There's so much. Uh, <laughs> this is too, like, legit. I don't know no. what it is. The district found... Okay. These are the districts. Mm -hmm. Um, so these have been found in these places. I don't, Salem, I don't know what's where. <laughs> I don't know, like, what I care about this, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, collected by these people, unknown sample. Well, what on here looks like it would be stolen? Ash samples. A knife. Heritage chart. That's cool. A gun. Then <laughs> keep a robbery in here. Mm -hmm. Images, testimony, testimony. Document. Who's T. Perry again? Tegan Perry. Yes. Okay. And Alicia Cole gave this testimony. Mm -hmm. Unknown sample. 
I don't know. Okay. Well, let's just open drawers until Nancy's like, there should be something in here. Right. Use the evidence list to check if anything is missing. So, how do I... The item number... What does that do with the drawer? No. No. Okay. Uh, Maybe we just click it. No. 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 (laughs) No. No. Oh. oh, maybe we actually literally pick up the, uh, the list and like she said yeah. it differently that time. No. Okay. No. No. Maybe this isn't how you do it. <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh. No. No. And like the drawer. Okay, that's drawer number five. Is it, like, stained knife? Is that what was supposed to be in there? Is it the item number corresponds with... Are there 20... Yeah, there's exactly 20 drawers. But then, let's see if that was checked out, actually. Yeah, that was checked out. So that makes okay, sense so, that it wouldn't be there. Right, okay. Okay, I think we've got it then. And this so, one should have had a heritage check number chart, six. Right? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't have anything. No. Interesting. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, yeah. so we're doing it right. It's just a weird, it's not a, a puzzle. weird setup, yeah. Okay, so the heritage chart is missing. Mm -hmm. No. Drawer eight. Okay, that was checked out, so that's fine. I think they just didn't want to rend a gun and a knife. Yeah, that's fair. No. I wish I could just, like, go through all this evidence and ruin all these cases. What is this? No. What is this? What's all this, then? (laughs) <laughs> all right. What's all this then? Okay, number 11. Testimony. No. Interesting. Testimony from drawer 11. And whose was it? It just has Tegan's? testimony. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're right. You're right. You're right. 11. Oh, she's marking it off for us. Yeah, it's okay. Tegan's though. Okay. If you want to write it down. I'll still write it down. Just do something to do. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing wrong in... No. In, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Being overly cautious. Right. right. There's things in there. Nancy, you don't have to, like, stand across the room every time you back up. For- oh, okay. Well, was number 18. Pictures. Yeah, 18 mm-hmm. pictures. All of the stolen oh. evidence was linked to the accused witch's claim to Hathorn House. Hmm. Again, I don't think the accused witches are stealing these because it makes them... It, it doesn't help upsets them. their case. Like, yeah. they were being... Like, they were... I think it's someone who doesn't want, want the accused them witches. to be successful in whatever All of the stolen oh. evidence Oh, yeah. Was this is something that Alicia checked out, so this is fine. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. I find that interesting. Mm-hmm. What districts were those in? D3, D43, and D43. So, yeah, well, they're all, all from, from the same area. Which I think is the... So right here. Where these... Right here. Mm-hmm. D43. This is where everything's from. Which I think is like the where area we've at, been in. Yeah. Makes sense. I so just, you know, nice yeah. consistency there. Yeah, I like that they have the little... Yeah. A CCTV camera. There might be footage from the day of the break-in. Should ask the judge about this. Yep, and he's gonna be like, oh, that was the day that it was conveniently not working. The thief must have come in through the door. The break-in was staged. She's convinced the break-in was staged. I think she's got a point. We got an achievement for investigate everything. (laughs) I'm glad. Oops, hang on. Abigail's playing The Sims 3. I wanted to look at our achievement, but I forgot that this huge chat window pops up and won't go away until it finishes loading. Read every piece of evidence. Yeah, I think that's since I opened every single drawer. Right. Even after we already had finished. Gather alibis from everyone for every crime. Yeah, we still have to talk to, uh, uh, her name is not Tegan. May. May. Okay. I have to pee. Okay. <laughs> so. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, you may not pee. And since nobody's watching us, I don't feel weird about it. That's 
still losing my mind over that video of my little sister like hanging her whole body out of the car <laughs> trying to get this bucket of feedback. I heard you watching it. It was cute. I packed it up. It was about like 18 to 18. So I just put it in half. And right. was, like, that I'll take some to my buddies. Yeah. I love this little. It is very cute. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for cookies. 